have to have some sense of what the historical reference are. So if they see this is railroad stock, they would have to investigate something about railroad stock and feelings about the railroad in the 1870s. They have to discover some sense of the historical context. But I'd also want to know something about Nast, particularly because he's such a, there's so much stuff by Nast and he has such a strong influence. He's a very powerful artist. I would want them to investigate how else Nast depicted babies, how else he depicted money, how he depicted business and finance in general. So I'd want them to have some sense of the author and the author's characteristic forms of his rhetorical tricks, the author's characteristic rhetorical style, and how does this deviate from his characteristic style. I would ask them to look for other iterations of that phrase, you know, where else does rag baby show up and how are they, how else, who else uses it. But one thing I'd ask them to do is look at how else Nast drew babies. I mean, what else did Nast do with babies, and how else did they appear in his, in his work? Did he mm -hmm. sentimentalize them as the exact opposite of this? Or how are babies depicted in popular culture generally? And I think the answer usually is they're highly sentimentalized as the, you know, they're the objects around which real feeling is generated and the objects mm -hmm. that represent genuineness. So I'd ask them to contextualize it. What is the context of, of um, babyhood?